Right now, the Wisconsin Supreme Court orders the drawing of new legislative voting maps striking a blow to Republicans. Dense fog and a rainy Christmas. How much rain are we talking? That's coming up. And with large gatherings planned for holidays, some tips on how to keep you and your loved ones safe and healthy amid a rise in respiratory illnesses. That's all coming up right now at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. A major win for Democrats. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is throwing out the state's legislative district maps, ordering new ones to be drawn in a four to three ruling. Well, these maps are used to determine who has power in the state legislature. Democrats have argued the maps unfairly benefit Republicans. The court will hear new map proposals from the Republican legislature and Democratic Governor Tony Evers as early as next month. There is some pressure to move quickly so these maps can be in place ahead of next fall's election. The court says it will appoint its own consultant to draw new maps if the various branches can't come to an agreement. Candidates will start running on these new district maps as early as April. And there's been reaction from both sides of the aisle on the Supreme Court's decision today. And let's start with Governor Tony Evers. He says in part Wisconsin is a purple state and I look forward to submitting maps to the court to consider and review that reflect and represent the makeup of our state. Wisconsin's top Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss expressing disappointment with the ruling saying sad day for Wisconsin when the state Supreme Court just said last year that the existing lines are constitutional. Fortunately, the U.S. Supreme Court will have the last word. To read more from what other local politicians had to say about the ruling, look for the story on channel3000.com. And a reminder, you can get the news of the day right from the palm of your hand with the Channel 3000 mobile app. We send push alerts to your phone with the day's biggest stories as they're happening. Download the app for free and turn on push notifications so you never miss a breaking story. Well, we know it's going to be warm and wet for the Chris for Christmas, but it sounds like we're going to have a to clear our way through some dense fog first. Yeah, meteorologist Alex Harrington out on the patio with your first worn forecast. Alex? Yeah, Eric and Charlotte. And in fact, you can look out here in our parking lot and look at the lights out there. And we're already seeing that dense fog move in to the area as we speak. The visibilities are also getting a little bit lower across portions of southern Wisconsin. So we got some travel advisories we want to talk about here, folks, as you travel overnight tonight. And this may last into a good portion of your Saturday. Saturday. Low beams, slow it on down. That fog is possible, like I said, going on into your Saturday as well. The dense fog advisory itself is off to the south and towards the west over portions of Iowa and northwest Illinois. But just take a look at some of our visibilities, our friends, down towards the Wisconsin-Illinois border. This includes Platteville. This includes Mineral Point. This includes Monroe. We've got visibilities half mile, three or half mile, and even down to a quarter of a mile right now in Monroe. And dense fog can be quite the travel hazard hazard. You can go from a, a place where there's no fog and then get into a valley and have dense fog and cause problems. Those showers have since moved on out, but with the dense fog, we will also have some drizzle and then the rain chances go right back up as Charlotte and Eric was, were saying as we head out towards our Christmas Eve day and our Christmas Eve night and going on to Christmas itself, a rainy period heading towards southern Wisconsin. Coming up in Maine weather, we'll track that weather system hour by hour and look just at how much rain you can expect on Christmas. And of course, it wouldn't be weather with me if we don't do a tour of viewer photos. All that's coming on up. All right, Alex, thank you. Overnight, a bowling alley on Madison's east side was broken into. Police officers responded to an alarm at Dream Lanes on Atlas Court, just north of Cottage Grove Road. There, they found broken doors to the building. A canine unit was brought in, but no suspects were found. The owner of Dream Lanes does not believe that anything from inside was taken. Today, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services confirmed the first two children in Wisconsin to have died from RSV. The significant rise in all respiratory illnesses this season may have some families nervous ahead of holiday gatherings, which is why Arman Rahman sat down with an expert to talk about how to keep you and your loved ones healthy this weekend. Eric and Charlotte, DHS officials say the first child to succumb to RSV was from southeastern Wisconsin and the second was from the northeastern part of the state. They also say they know other young children are being hospitalized for it right now. It may sound repetitive from the pandemic. Wash your hands thoroughly, cover your nose and mouth when coughing, stay home if you're feeling sick, etc. But health leaders say that's all still important to protect specific populations. Little kids with little lungs can be more impacted and um, you no know, adults over 60, 65 can have more weakened immune systems who can also be impacted. 
uh, by these viruses. If you're around those vulnerable groups, masking is always an effective tool. This year, the lack of a cold white Christmas might provide another way to air out germs. Opening windows, you know, it's going to be kind of warm on Christmas, so, you know, you could even go outside if you wanted to. Anyone older than six months should try to get vaccinated for flu and COVID. The RSV vaccine is in short supply right now. For adults over 60, pregnant people and children under 19 months, you can talk to your doctor about that. Um, to see if you can access that as well. While it can be nerve-wracking to think what might go around when everyone's together, health leaders say you and others can dodge the combo punch of flu, COVID, and RSV and still celebrate. I wouldn't say it's like a be scared or be really concerned, but certainly be aware, right, and, and be thoughtful about the different tools you can use to prevent illness. And while they can't do it before the weekend, public health does have a limited supply of RSV vaccine. They urge you to give them a call to find out when and where you can get that after the holiday. Armand, thank you. People gave the gift of life this holiday season through a blood drive at Align Energy Center earlier today. For the 38th year now, the Southwest Wisconsin chapter of the American Red Cross asked for donors, especially those with type O blood. While the need for blood is constant, unfortunately, the supply is not, especially around the holidays when blood donations typically decline due to busy schedules, holiday travel, and seasonal illnesses. Universal donors like Linda from Montello have donated over 10 gallons in their lifetime. I've had people in my family that have been sick. I know that I can help other people overcome illnesses. We've done it as a family with my son, so I know that I can do it. It just warms my heart to see people come out and a lot of times there's families that come together. It might be the only time of year that they all get together to donate together. And it's just become a traditional, not only for us, but for a lot of families as well. It's the largest one day blood drive in the area with more than 700 community members rolling up their sleeves to help save lives each year. New tonight, President Biden has signed an $866 billion defense policy bill into law. It provides the largest raise for service members in more than two decades. It also temporarily extends a controversial surveillance program and strengthens the U.S. posture in the Indo-Pacific region to deter Chinese actions. The nearly 3,100-page bill was passed by both the House and Senate. An annual tradition has returned. Former President Obama released his list of his favorite books from 2023. Obama's 15 favorite books of 2023 include bestsellers such as Jane McBride's The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store, David Grand's The Wager, and King by Jonathan Eig. He wrote, if you're looking for a new book over the holidays, give one of them a try. Obama encourages you to buy them at an independent bookstore or check them out from a local library. The former president isn't done yet, though, with his best ofs. Obama also said his list of favorite movies and music of the year are coming soon. Well, a live look right now at our favorite place, Los yeah, Angeles International that. Airport, LAX. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> this is the arrivals pickup area at the airport. Still extremely busy as it is just after 8 o'clock there. So as of the last check of the numbers provided by FlightAware, more than 5,000 flights today were delayed and another 90 were canceled. That is something. It is. And AAA predicts more than 7 million people are flying this week. A lot of them apparently at LAX. Yeah. And despite today's <laughs> flight delays and cancellations, things have generally gone pretty smoothly. Chris Van Cleve is in that mess at LAX getting a first-hand look at the travel rush. Coast to coast, it's time to travel as millions head home for the holidays. All gates, all flights, all airlines. The Cop family is leaving L.A. for Bismarck, North Dakota. They're among the more than 39 million the airlines expect to fly during this Yuletide travel time. We used LAX before and it's been crazy with the traffic, but uh, today we got here in a decent amount of time. For United Airlines pilot Cole Doss and his mother Moya, a 46-year flight attendant, the holidays are being spent together at work and at home. It's, it's really nice and special. The two went viral after Cole posted this video. One of these flight attendants in particular working with us today is not only an exceptional flight attendant, but also my exceptional mom. Marking the first time they worked the same flight together earlier this year. To my mom, I love you. And to everyone on board, welcome aboard our family-friendly skies. I was embarrassed, but I was also, I mean, it also made me cry. It was yeah. very sweet, very sweet. Was it a little bit like an, an early Christmas gift, this moment? Yeah. It's not a tangible gift, which I think sometimes are the most special gifts. 
And the airlines continue to hope that the rest of this holiday travel season remains a gift for flyers. We've looked at their performance compared to 2019 and last year. In both cases, delays are down, cancellations are down. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Los Angeles. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. You can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. Toyota Thon is on. Time to make the holidays picture perfect with a new Toyota. We're going to need a bigger tree. Get 3.99% APR plus $1,000 cash back on Tacoma when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota. Let's go places. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine Fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. Toyota Thon is on. Make your holidays a little more magical with a new Toyota. Come in today. Get $1,000 cash back on your favorite models when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance. Uh-huh. You can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. The Emmy Award-winning News 3 Now This Morning, weekdays. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. A federal appeals court has revived a lawsuit against the surviving members of the band Nirvana over its controversial Nevermind album cover. The album's artwork features a photo of a naked baby boy swimming toward a dollar in a pool. Spencer Eldon says he was that baby and filed the lawsuit back in 2021, claiming the it constituted commercial child exploitation and he suffered lifelong damages because of it. A federal judge threw out the lawsuit last year, ruling Eldon filed his complaint after after the statute of limitations expired, but a federal appeals court reversed that ruling, returning it to a lower court. An attorney for Nirvana says the case is meritless and they expect to prevail. Well, as we wrap up 2023, we realize there are some words we've said a lot. Record, unprecedented, first. This truly was a year where we repeatedly saw things which had never happened before. And Emily Schmidt is here to recap the past 12 months and some of the stories you may have forgotten about. Perhaps the most 2023 way to try to sum up this year is not to try it all and let AI do it for you. After all, Collins Dictionary named AI its word of the year for driving the conversation about the power and potential perils of artificial intelligence, as Senator Richard Blumenthal proved when he used an AI-generated deepfake of his own voice. Too often. We have seen what happens when technology outpaces regulation. But even AI couldn't envision all 2023 had in store. Well, what the heck is that? A Chinese spy balloon crossed the country, capturing people's attention, creating political concerns. 
The military shot it down after a seven-day journey. Extreme weather was a frequent theme. Deadly wildfires in Maui arrived so quickly in August. As the emergency siren warning system stayed silent, people plunged into the ocean seeking safety. You gotta go! At least 110 died. Thousands lost their homes in Hawaii's largest ever natural disaster. Unions walked. Tonight, for the first time in our history, we will strike all three of the big three at once. United Auto Workers, Kaiser Permanente Workers, LA School District Workers, Writers Guild of America Workers, and SAG-AFTRA Actors all went on the picket lines. In the Middle East on October 7th, Hamas put what it said was a plan two years in the making into action, killing more than 1,200 people in Israel in just the attack's first hours, taking at least 200 hostages, some eventually released, others left in limbo. Israel attacked Hamas in Gaza in return, killing thousands more in an unfolding political and humanitarian crisis. Back in the U.S., mass shooters took lives in the most ordinary places. In Lewiston, Maine, the year's deadliest mass shooting, 18 people died simply eating or bowling. Ohio's attorney general filed a federal lawsuit against Norfolk Southern after a toxic train derailment in East Palestine. Courtrooms set the scene for their share of politics. New York Republican George Santos pleaded not guilty to 23 charges, including fraud and money laundering. The House expelled him, the sixth congressman, first Republican. New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez and his wife pleaded not guilty to federal corruption-related charges, accused of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of bribes. Hunter Biden became the first child of a sitting president charged by the Justice Department. His lawyer has suggested the charges are politically motivated. Former President Trump racked up historic court superlatives all year. The first time a current or former president has faced criminal charges. The first time a former president was charged with crimes in federal court. The first former president with a mugshot. Trump stayed on the campaign trail, and President Biden went to Georgia to honor former First Lady Rosalind Carter, who died at age 96 after a lifetime of service. Her 99-year-old husband, Jimmy Carter, who has remained in hospice care most of the year, attended as well. Their lifetime together superseding even a term in the White House. That kind of contrast happened all year. A son's book, a king's coronation. The challenges of conquering space, the dangers of exploring the ocean when a Titanic-bound submersible imploded, killing all on board. Even status quo brought change. Kevin McCarthy became the first House Speaker to be removed from office. It took three weeks for Republicans to agree on his successor. That's 2023, a year too unbelievable for AI, too unforgettable for real. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. So many stories well, coming back to our memory in that. And uh, Alex Harrington back with the forecast. And no ice and snow for travelers, Alex. What about anything else out there? This fog's kind of something. We got the fog. I guess that's the craziest we're going to do. We got Christmas rain coming, too. Temperatures in the upper 40s, lower to middle 50s for this holiday. You think we're tracking a Halloween forecast, and believe it or not, Halloween was colder than this holiday forecast that we have going on here. The fog, well, yes, we do need to pay heed to that. Low beams, slow it on down, and it is possible that that fog could last well into your Saturday. It's that perfect recipe. We have the moisture out there, mild temperatures, calm winds. That's the recipe for dense fog, and we have dense fog advisories off towards the south and towards the west over northeast Iowa, northwestern Illinois. Nothing here for southern Wisconsin yet, but I would not be shocked if these advisories do scoot into portions of the area because we have visibilities down to a quarter of a mile in Monroe, half a mile in Mineral Point, half a mile in Platteville, five here in Madison, a little bit better to the north up towards the Dells at 10 miles visibility. We will have drizzle over the course of the night tonight. Few sprinkles out there, but the showers that we had earlier, those have since long gone out over portions of Lake Michigan. But the moisture left over again is part of that recipe for the fog. Now, as we carry out here towards the holiday, look at Sunday going on into Monday, even into Tuesday, widespread precipitation chances. It will all be in the form of liquid, or at least the vast majority of it. 
So let's track it. As we go here into your Sunday afternoon, out towards the Mississippi River, friends, La Crosse, Vernon County, west of Richland Center, out towards Boscobel and Platteville, you could be looking at a couple of those showers. But now it looks like it's struggling just a little bit. We might have to trim those showers on your Christmas Eve day, Christmas Eve day, and focus them more as we head towards Christmas Day itself. Watch the green really take hold as we head towards lunch on Christmas Day. Green across all of southern Wisconsin on your Christmas Day afternoon. Be breezy as well, but very mild temperatures. So all in the form of liquid here until we get way on the back end of this weather system. Maybe a couple of snowflakes out there as we go into Wednesday. But with a wet ground and temperature still pretty mild, those snowflakes will probably make it to the ground and melt on contact. I said earlier, this is how much rain we're up against here. About a quarter of an inch here in Madison, more off towards the Mississippi River, where they had the more persistent shower activity could be looking at half inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch. And again, very warm temperatures here. Record warm, low temperatures near 50, highs in the 50s, so we could be flirting with some of those record temperatures out there. After this weather system clears from Christmas time on, then as we sneak out here into the following last week of 2023, temperatures staying above normal, and we start off 2024 above normal too. Of course, my viewer photos time. Town of Burke, thanks Clint for sending us that sunrise sunset photo and another one here from Blue Mounds from Peggy. Easy to do, channel3000.com, go to weather, scroll on down, click the post your own button. And I think we have a couple more weather photos here to show. Isn't that cute? Thanks Bill for sending us that town of Dane. Linda saying, hey, the lake isn't freezing. Not going to freeze anytime soon. Karen, Lake Wabisa there, going to stay open. Linda showing those partly cloudy skies. And Jane near the Sugar River showing partly sunny skies. This was where we had that one cold day earlier in the week, that Monday, Tuesday time frame. Otherwise, it's been all above normal. Thanks again, Linda, for sending us these photos. Pretty sunrises and sunsets. And again, this is really easy to do. First Warn Weather app or channel3000.com slash weather. And coming up in sports, AJ Store had himself a night. How the Badger sophomore put up big time numbers against Chicago State. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Swipe. Make your first month's lease payment on select 2023 GX460 models. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with Spectrum Internet delivering fast and reliable speeds. Advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security on your devices. Spectrum Mobile with unlimited talk, text, and data. And now TV with the all-new Zumo Stream Box. Get Spectrum One Stream with Internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited Spectrum Mobile line, and the Zumo Stream Box, free when you add Spectrum TV. Call 833-976-4999. With Spectrum and Zumo, all your favorites are brought together in one place. Use the voice remote to search across live TV, on-demand movies and shows, and the most popular streaming apps to watch what you want faster and easier than ever. It's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. Do more together this holiday in the Chevy that's right for you. The award-winning Chevy Equinox. The hard-working Chevy Silverado. Or the all-new high-tech Chevy Trax. Whatever your plans are this season, do more in a new Chevy. Or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $269 a month. Or get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Messner Cup Series champion Ryan Blaney here. If you come in now, you get 12% off everything for the 12 days of Christmas at Menards. That's right, we couldn't resist. In honor of number 12's big championship win, we're giving you 12% off everything for the 12 days of Christmas. Thank you, friends, for a great year. And please accept this as our Christmas gift to you. Congratulations, Ryan. Merry Christmas and enjoy your 12% off everything. Four seasons, greetings to you all from Menards.
in a class three casino. You're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win ever. And in a class two casino, the players play against each other and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a class two casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Get special offers on the 2024 ES350. I'm going to be honest with you. Historically, Chicago State is not a good basketball team. The Cougars have won 10 or more games in a season just once in the last nine years. This year, though, they entered the Cole Center on a four-game win streak. Badgers honoring Walt McGrory, who passed away after a two-year battle with cancer with their Walt Strong shirts. First half, Tyler Wall goes baseline and kisses it off the glass. He finished with 11 points and two blocks, but the night belonged to A.J. Stoll. First, the sophomore takes it to the cup and lays it up and in with ease. Then later, he's going to show off his range. The corner store with the corner three. Career high 29 from him as Wisconsin wins easy 80 to 53. It's been a wild ride for Tanner Mordecai during his college football career. Three different schools in six years with his final stop at Wisconsin. And with now only one game left, UW's QB1 has had some time to reflect. He'd be the first time to tell you that this season didn't turn out like he hoped. A third place finish in the West and a hand injury to his throwing arm. But it's a journey that made a stop in Madison and it's one he's thankful for. Different, uh, bittersweet for sure. Um, but yeah, just looking back on all my experiences in college, uh, I'm really thankful. I'm really blessed for everything I've been through and um, all the great experiences and uh, relationships I've made. I, I wouldn't change anything I've done to play with these guys. I mean, through the ups and downs, um, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think we have a great group of guys in there, and um, they've meant the world to me this year. To say the Packers season has been like a roller coaster might be an understatement. First they looked good, then they looked bad, then they looked good again, and then bad. It's an overreaction Monday every week. And with three games left in their season, they're trying to make a late playoff push. Currently, they're on the outside looking in, and the only thing that could help their cause win the next three games. Yeah, I mean, we got to win. We got to, you know, three opportunities to go out there and get a get a get a win. Um, you know, the goal right now is to get to nine and eight, and then obviously let the the playoffs kind of play themselves out and see if we can get a shot in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously bouncing back after two tough loss, losses, um, you know, we just got to find a way to go win these last three. And Kelly Sheffield got some good news just in time for Christmas. Devin Robinson is coming back for her fifth year at Wisconsin. The senior middle blocker finished the year. Fourth on the team in kills with 267, averaging 2.4 kills per set. She also was a big part of the Badger block this past year, finishing with 101. We're back after this. This holiday season, learn how to protect yourself from fraud. Educate yourself about common scams and other kinds of fraud and how to avoid them. Recognize the risks and protect yourself at walmart.com slash financial literacy. Happy Holidays from our Dwellings family to yours. Happy Holidays! Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. 
When it's time to remodel your home, lean on the experts at Brothers Main for all things appliances. As Madison and Janesville's local appliance authority since 1938, our experienced staff will make your project easy from concept to completion. Better than big box, Brothers Main has a larger selection, lower prices, and professional advice to bring your vision to life. On time and on budget, from sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Main. We keep this love in a photograph We make these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken Time's forever frozen still So you can keep in America, it's time to visit your Ford dealer for the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology and flexibility for any season. It's your last chance to get special offers on our great selection of Ford vehicles. Only during the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Choose Flex Buy on a new Ford SUV and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 3,500 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. In partnership with Khan Academy, Walmart is offering a free financial literacy course. The course covers topics like consumer credit, insurance, and investing, and has tools for recognizing and protecting yourself from fraud. Take the free course at walmart.com slash financial literacy. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, weeknights on CBS. For you travelers, Alex is back. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, travel for tonight. We got that dense fog out there. Dense fog advisors to the south and the west of southern Wisconsin, but we all are going to stand that chance of dense fog. Look at that, Monroe, quarter mile visibility. And again, doesn't take too much in the reduction in the visibility department to make for dangerous travel. Then we've got the rainy Christmas ahead. Santa's going to need to have flashes, so we'll put an umbrella out for Santa with the cookies. Well, I'm off until Tuesday, so everybody have a wonderful, safe, and Merry Christmas holiday. Do something good and have a great weekend.